Control confirms the Shepard has cleared the tower and is heading to space. Oh. It appears we've experienced an anomaly with today's flight. Okay, that anomaly, that was a Blue Origin rocket experiencing a booster failure during a launch of its new Shepard rocket. Now, luckily, there were no astronauts aboard this rocket, only scientific payloads. But that failure triggered an abort system. You saw the parachutes there, and that allowed the capsule to land, to come all the way to Earth. And joining me now is Kristen Fisher, our CNN space and defense correspondent. I mean, you look at that, Kristen, you say, oh, my gosh. But at the same time, it appears that it worked as it was supposed to in a case like this. Yeah, you know, I think the big question for me now is what does this do for Blue Origin's business, right? They are a private company, yes. a space tourism company. Uh, and yes, you see what's happening right there. That is a new Shepard spacecraft launching yesterday. And then about a minute and four seconds into flight, something happens with that booster. And this is the same rocket booster that took Jeff Bezos and William Shatner into space. Something bad happens, and then right there, the capsule on top pops off. So the good news is that emergency abort system appears to have worked. You see the capsule landing beneath parachutes. Uh, and so if people had been on board, they likely would have been just fine. But you also have to uh, wonder if, you know, potential paying customers are seeing that and thinking, you know, gosh, do I want to, do I really want to fly on that? But I should point out the new Shepard spacecraft Typically, historically, a very safe uh, system, and that rocket has flown nine times without issues. So that abort system working as planned, but definitely a scary moment, and the FAA is now investigating. 